All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Cold Brew Guru. Special video today, we're doing a few different things. First of all, this is the last time you will ever see me on camera not being a father because we're gonna have a baby within the next week. This is the last video that I'm probably going to make before my wife gives birth. So that's exciting. Number two, you can see I kind of combed out my beard really long and my hair is short. I'm about to shave my beard down. So this is like the long beard edition, Cobra Guru. Cosmo, whoa! He's insane. And then number three, this video is a little different because we're doing an unboxing slash taste test review. So let's just jump right into it. What I'm trying today is Jot Coffee. This video is not sponsored by Jot. I have no affiliation with Jot. They did not send me free product or pay me in any way for this review. I paid out of pocket my hard earned dollars to try some Jot Coffee. I got a good promo deal in my email or something. So I picked it up. Here it is. Fresh in the box. Haven't even opened it. I have no idea what to expect. I've never tried Jot coffee before. So you're gonna watch me unbox it, read the directions on how to make a drink with it, and then I'm gonna try it. First, the unboxing. Oh! Okay. Open it the right way. Ba ba! It says, for those who take their coffee easy. And then they have a auto subscription thing on some really nice cardstock. Some cardboard. The coffee in a small 6.8 ounce 200 milliliter jar. Here it is. And then the serving spoon stuck into the box with an elastic. So let's see if there's instructions here on what to do, how much I'm supposed to use. But that's the unboxing. Here it is. Pretty nice packaging, I suppose. I guess what Jot is supposed to be is like hyper concentrated coffee that you mix into a drink to make pretty much any liquid drink into a coffee drink. I'm excited to try it. This was something like $20 and I'm not sure how many servings it's gonna give me, but I think a lot. 20X concentrate, it says. All right, so it says just one tablespoon plus eight ounces of water, milk, what have you. Ingredients, water, organic coffee, refrigerate after opening. The caffeine content is 150 milligrams per tablespoon and it is distributed by Jot in Boulder, Colorado. Let's open it up. Zippity doo. Another reminder on the, uh, if you take off the sort of uh, plastic wrap on the cap, it reminds you just one tablespoon. So just one tablespoon, just one tablespoon. They send you the tablespoon and on here it says, fill just below the brim, see where it takes you. So a free tablespoon included with the purchase of your coffee. All right, the bottle is like a cork top. It's not a screw off, it's like a boop style. So let me see if I can get it to go boop. Now, let's make a drink. I guess I'll use almond milk. I have oat milk and almond milk, but I'm gonna use almond milk. The oat milk I have is extra creamy, so I don't wanna overdo it. So let me try it with the silk, unsweet, non-vanilla flavored. And I'm going to make the drink in this glass here. This is about an eight ounce glass. Uh, my, usual crystal, my usual crystal tasting glass is a little bit smaller. It's more like six ounces. So I'm gonna use this to get eight ounces so I don't uh, make something disgusting. Now I'm not gonna taste this straight because it would probably give me a brain aneurysm. But you can see it's extremely syrupy, very dark. But you know what, let me lick the spoon and just see how strong it is on the spoon. Woo! Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's not really drinkable like that. Okay, so I'm gonna put the cap back on. So just so you know, one drink, that's the ch that's the dent that we took out of it. Um, 200 milliliters, how many milliliters is a tablespoon? I don't know, I'll put a graphic here for how many servings is in one of these bottles. I'm gonna go straight almond milk. I'm not even going to put chocolate syrup or whipped cream or brown sugar, all the usual weird stuff that I do. Straight, cold almond milk. I'm gonna fill it up close to the top. 
good. Here's what we're working with now. It looks really good like this. It mixes super fast. Like, you know, sometimes if I'm really in a rush or if I don't have that much coffee, I'll mix in the instant coffee and that takes a little while to stir around. Here's the color. It looks like what you would expect a cup of coffee to look like. Let's taste it. bit bitter I didn't put any sweetener in it it tastes unique in that it doesn't taste like when I mix cold brew with almond milk it doesn't even taste like when I mix hot coffee with almond milk somehow it tastes different but it tastes good it tastes like coffee I can see why for those who take their coffee easy it doesn't really get much easier than that to come this close to whether it's a hot or cold coffee drink to just drop a tablespoon of this into whatever drink you want Extremely easy, extremely convenient. And uh, it, you know, it produces a pretty good cup of coffee. Will I subscribe and will I buy more? You know, probably not because, don't get me wrong, I like things that are easy. But, you know, I have fun with the way I do my coffee. I save a lot of money the way that I do my coffee over paying for subscriptions or going to Starbucks every day. So, I probably won't buy another one after this. If I was going to be traveling, you know, maybe I'd pack one of these, obviously, in my checked bag, not my carry-on. You can't bring something this size in your carry-on. But I might check this in a bag, bring it, and then be able to have coffee instantly everywhere I go, get to the hotel, boom, splash some water with milk, and you have a coffee. If a coffee shop's closed, you know, you gotta have your coffee. I'm about to mix a little bit of chocolate syrup in here real quick and kick it up a notch. Forgive me out of speed and convenience. I'm gonna use Hershey's chocolate syrup. I have some Ghirardelli, but we're just gonna do it quick. So I'm gonna do a little swirly do. It's pretty, look at that. Okay. So I'm just whipping this together real quick, but if there's a specific Jot recipe you'd wanna see, like maybe I'll make a Jot coffee mocha, make it a little more interesting than this, and I'll put that out, so let me know. Uh, by then, I will have a crying baby in the background, but we'll we'll deal with it. Mm. Yes, that's good stuff. So that is it, guys. That is my unboxing and review of Jot Ultra Coffee, 20 times concentrate coffee. No information about the origin or anything like that. They don't really care about that because it's for people who take their coffee easy. Give it a try. Again, this was not paid for by Jot and I have no affiliation or sponsorship with the brand. I will see you guys in the next video and wish me luck in fatherhood. Thank you. Hi. Say bye bye.